are here for this next matchup in the stadium. This is game number 12. LNS Glass versus Primetime. And this is Rhino the Rep. I'm in the booth with Robbie Fowl. What's up, man? What's going on, Rhino? How you doing today? Doing it's on Easter yeah. well, for sure. So I think it's like you already know that's Primetime by just looking from a distance. Definitely. Yeah. Good swing. And so Roderick Armour is your pitcher for... Uh, Primetime Easton. Uh, the bottom of the lineup. And this is uh, Doobie, the right fielder. He flies out to the center fielder. And he's hit the hard right into the left center gap. The thing about Jarvis, he's got that cut swing down yeah. very well. Um, I've had many battles with Jarvis from pitching at the plate. And he hits that thing very, very hard. So, Position-wise. So I love the pitch personally. Um, I started pitching a couple years ago. And uh, outfield, you know, all that run, especially here in the stadium, I like to be able to pitch and kind of control the game, as you know me. They're just flying out that way. Yeah. I don't know if you saw uh, Joe Bowling yesterday as a righty. He was put it up there in that win and oh, yeah. just destroying it. Good swing. So Joe, that he has a strike against him. Mm -hmm. Oh, he tried. Just missed it. Just missed it and popping out to the center fielder, uh, Tyler Esplin. And everyone knows pitcher is, is a hard position. Uh... But Roger Garmer is a hard-hitting pitcher. Rod is one of the best uh, hitting pitchers all around Agreed. In, in softball. Uh, yep. They just move him to the infield because they definitely need to keep his his up bat. Just like that. There he goes. There it is. So Roger Garmer special hitter. on successfully. In the bat quad, I was out there recording. And uh, unfortunately, might have gotten underneath this one a little bit too much. That was a good pitch by Tomasi. Lot of edge, but he sprays it around and hits it very hard. I would not have guessed to shoot that way. I was digging left center. There's a lot of dude. That uh, it's a deep fly ball to left center field and camped underneath it. Odd, oh, it was in the booth last game. We saw a lot of guys from Texas and they're playing D, mm. and now they're playing men's double A. And yep. it's, just, it's it's insane. Better, and I get it, right? But some people uh, just this rather way. just play with the, each other, mm -hmm. and I think prime time. Uh, is a good example of that. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the uh, on top A teams, on yep. double uh, other double A teams, so you know it's you got to keep performing at this level, and if you don't, there's gonna be the next guy up mentality usually. And unfortunately, good for pitch. Uh, early in the morning, enough to be able to do it. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, midday, as you know. Oh, good swing. Gets up. It's uh, not gonna not have enough. enough, and that is first out. Is I feel like Mondo plays at 10 o'clock at night. You know what I mean? Yeah, if you're watching uh, the Silverbacks versus Mondo game yesterday, um, to, to start the game, there was a lot of balls being fly out to yeah, left. But as soon as it started getting a little bit later, some of them res Mondo guys I saw, Phil and, and Greg hit one on top of the hill right there. Yeah, do a little bit more winning, you know? Time mingle here. He's been, oh, well, that's a, he usually kills that right center gap. He's, um, he's a great player. He, uh, just got a player. Uh, Rod's going to go right after him. They want to go bottom top here. They want to get this first out here. That's big. Oh, good play. Oh, oh, that was cool. He's a great umpire, and he really, really takes it seriously. Oh, big shoe fanatic, too. We were talking about that <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> we got Matt Gregory, the first base official. I know this is, is I want to say, his oh, the Texas Doobie. native. Oh, Doobie trying to get up in left center field, but Jackson there to haul it in. Left field, uh, you know, obviously, would you rather – the, the ball in the gap or down the line? I mean, I know you want it right at you, but. Yeah, I mean, it, it's kind of tough. Um, I kind of go based on what the center field goes to in between third and short right here. Oh, great swing, Dante. Right back up the middle. That's He's a veteran. What you need. That's what you need. He's been with primetime a long time. Really He's just family. I play league ball with him. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, we are in the same area. <laughs> oh, oh uh, that's a far run. Fly ball. Oh, good play, good great play. Great play by the left fielder. To do it. Left fielder, number the, 22. The airport selfie himself, Will Fisher. Oh, yeah. He's a good dude as well. Oh, see, that's Looks carrying. Like they're trying to get underneath it. I think, what do you think? They're kind of either missing or just. Yeah, just, I, I, I'm not sure because it seems like it, it's going on both teams or the ball. So far, he's he's working with his fielders. And, oh. Could it find turf? It will. Oh. One hop. One hop. Let's see. If, oh, uh, this could Dante be the first run. Here we go. And it will be. So that's going to be a triple by Blake. Good swing. Frazier coming all the way around. Don't get the opportunity to play on too much outfield turf. Um, let's see what oh, Doobie's camped underneath that one. And that's going to be it. It's like, you know, Everett and Yates who 
can can flick it out there at always. Those guys are, are huge for the major. Um, if, you know, he was a, a pivotal part of them winning a lot. Oh, good swing. Good swing. And the right field actually third. was in the gap. They might have been playing him there already, but, uh, <laughs> you know, it's uh, either really good food or a bad Oh, well, they do have some good food there, yeah, that's for do. sure. <laughs> so Josh Moore oh, swung just... on and getting underneath him. And that's going oh, to hold the runner, too. Huge from prime time, and uh, it's going to be a big at bat. Oh, good swing. Ooh, going to get more He's than gonna one. He's going to go. He's like. going to keep on going. Yep, and just now getting to the wall. Rounding third. Two RBIs. And that is a triple. Bainham hit it out there. Oh, good swing. Ooh, look at that knuckle. Yep. So what do you, when the ball knuckles off that, uh, what kind of one that you look forward to the most? Yeah, so I know it's it's a pretty cliche. A lot of people talk about it, but um, and I, unfortunately, I wasn't able to go this year. But uh, the BSC Worlds, uh, two outs with LNS up five to one over Primetime Easton, and Tomas is low flat, low flat. Up comes up and oh yeah. Uh oh, oh, turn man, not able to it. Oh, great play, play over there. Hey, look at that. That's a great play. Is that you're in the situation? They got to figure out Tomas. He's out there throwing a gem. Look to have lifted that one sky high. Left fielder running it. Obviously, your middle guy is playing pool, kind of like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you look where Rod was standing, he was very far off the box. That was it's loud when he's pumped up, and and I don't know what it is, but I, I haven't heard that much from him in the majors. You know, good swing, Buster. Look at that. See, just like you were talking yep. about, Riggins he's got that swing. The ball well. He's been, like I said, I, maybe I just wait right there. Let's see if he's going to try to pull it too. Yep, he does. There you right go. Through right through that hole. And shortstop. Buster's going to score. So last night I was on the field. Ooh, might have a play. Nope. But Angel's there on time. You know, yes, it's cool to hit, you know, hit the long ball, but if somebody can hit in the gaps like that consistently, mm -hmm. that's even better in my in my opinion. Hunter missed that one. I knew he was trying to go for that gap, but scratch because goose eggs are really good. The other team pumped up, and especially if they have a big inning and you come and you goose egg, that's really going to hurt you. So Cade Christensen good swing there. with a leadoff single to left field. Well, when I was saying, when I saw him a couple years back, he was playing C. So it's like it's cool to just see people come up, you know? Yep. And then pitch on this level, it's like, it, it's cool. Good. And the thing was, he was a, I like the ones that, uh, oh, I went, I went two for Ooh, three. Did he Ooh, catch it? Ooh, he did. Wow. Smoked. That's the two. That, look really? at that. Here we go. We got the replay. Ooh, he had no wow. choice because that was looked like it was maybe chest high. Mm-hmm. That was going to score a run. There it is. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Just oh, in front of him. Oh, hang up. A score run. Talent. A little bit towards the middle, too, thinking he's going to he's gonna go middle here. Um, Ooh. Oh. But, and there's there's times, I admit, I do it, too, where I go for something that I, I probably shouldn't. That my, It'll go right to my middle, man. But... And, you know, honestly, right now Tomasi doing really well out there on the mound, keeping uh, good time at bay in the third base. Play. I think prime time is going to really have to start backing off the play here and, and letting that inside pitch go because Tomas is really getting them on that inside over him in between the middleman and second baseman here. Oh, right at the first. Oh, kick Fong. It. there to make the play. Think about it. Everything seems to be inside, so maybe. He's yep. Oh, there it is outside. One. Oh, just missed it. Just got underneath this one and, and missed that one. And that is three oh, outs. Oh, there he goes. Man, Ooh, good swing. Inside pitch out. He did the same thing last at bat where he inside it out. Seems yeah. to be as a, a a pitcher throwing a knuckleball and they they hit it and then boom, infielder makes a play. They're like, oh, okay, actually, it's tough. Ooh, oh, wow, good just swing. Inside the foul line. And great piece of hitting by Music, the left fielder, with a stand up double moving the runner. The ball of power to the right side. So Kyle Garrison, oh, the Oregon native. Oh, that's going to go a long BMW, way. And, oh, wow. That could be a triple, if not more. That's going to be an inside the Kyle park. Kyle Garrison run. rounding third, and that will be an in the park home run. <laughs> Three RBIs. It's funny, of course, we just mentioned Blake coming in yeah. to try to cut off those ins. You can't look at him out there. He's kind of like, dang. <laughs> That's the worst thing he, as an he outfielder. He up for the season yet, and they're showing just that with uh, the last three innings marking in all three. Albright 
lifting the ball out to center field. It was a shot right there. Until he uh, popped up the timing at first base. That's right. oh. oh, that's right. Hits that hole right there. <laughs> Look at him. They move over. Yeah. And boom, so, hits the so, hole. <laughs> it's, uh, how much do you BP? Uh, I guess you and your your, your buddies up there in Good swing. New Jersey. Uh, I like to BP a lot. Um, it kind of all depends on work and how much time I actually get. But when I do PP, if it's once or twice a week, um, I, I make sure I get that work in because on backside, knowing, hey, I'm going to come to Florida where the wind likes to go backside in a lot of these fields. And we were on White right, White Marucci for a lot of the A world where it was the wind was kind of doing some crazy stuff. So First pitch ball. Runners on the corners, one away. It's going to bring up. home a run. Center fielder Jackson brings it in. And that is a sack fly to center. Talent. There it is. Oh, oh, nope, not right enough. Right into the right fielder's glove. He took that. That's what, that's a good decision there. And there good it swing. Is. All right. He waited for it. But you see, imagine what would have happened. Honestly, he definitely knows what he's doing up there, which is good. Oh, there's another one. He's now they're waiting. Fall into that Tomasi in, in inside pitch <laughs> yeah. trap, dude. But now, you know, that's what, maybe to the left of the umpire. <laughs> oh, oh, he tried fong. it. Oh, no. Gets one. Williams was too fast. You're not going to get Williams on a double play. Yeah, back when I was uh, in my Miramar days, I played a lot of second Good base. Good swing. Second base and shortstop, minimal. Mm. But, uh, it seems here with these first four batters that they're starting to take that inside pitch more that they were swinging at before making an adjustment. Far off Rod is again. He, yeah. he he did last week or uh, last at bat where he hit right to second baseman, but that was his plan here. He just got under it. Yep. So sometimes you make adjustments and. Uh, he had a good swing into left center gap last time. Let's see what he can do. There oh, it great is. swing. Look at great Chargis. piece of hitting by Riggins. Not able to get to two, but gap left and left center. center. Gap. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> Just calling right it. side. Left. Calling it. It's a great swing there. It is. So, you know, getting uh, a little bit closer. Let's see what Hunter could do here. See if he can get a good swing on it. Is that going to go? Is that going to cut and go? Enough running back at the wall. Oh, great, great play. play by the left fielder. Chris Music. Wow. 11 to 6 ball game, as you see here. Right at the wall. And that is uh, probably saved a run or two, if not an in the park call. One inning. Yep. So uh, anybody's game, in my opinion. Um, and that's what you need if you're prime time. Get this out. That's oh, big so inning, uh, Runs in an inning, and that's huge. And Josh Moore, oh, right back play. in the middle. JD makes a play. Oh, oh good call. Was he was safe. And, for him. and, and hustle is, uh, is always free, like everybody <laughs> yep. says. Oh, that one's oh, going. No. Oh, oh, almost put a glove on it. Tyler Esplin. And he's running, going home. There's going to be a no play at the plate. The wall to end the last inning oh he tried that inside yeah, out he did. oh but you score the run that is uh mm. at least get to uh the second baseman to score him and that would have scored him if not that last one but on first ryan tomasi the batter tomasi oh good swing look at that just like out of the in between first and second he called it again. He, uh, Jarvis moved over to the middle a little bit there, which is the right play, I would think. You I mean, I, if you watch Jarvis here, he's going to move on a pitch again, I believe. Oh, he oh, tried to back. go between that hole. Good play over there by uh, Dante. Oh, look at that. And there it is. They're trying to feed off that momentum, that uh, ball in the inner half of the plate. Middleman starting to move around. Oh, down the line, but third baseman's playing it. Joey Aguilar with a good play. Almost bang measure on first base. There and you go, good there swing. It is right up the middle. And station to station, left fielder. Followed by Blake and Williams. Oh, that's going to go into the gap. Will it fall? It will. Good and that's going to score one and move J.D. Matthews from first to third. And that's, the that's the same thing he did last. Is to the left of the shortstop. Yep. Look at that, see? Ooh, Professional hitters over here. They move yeah. over. He says, you know what? I'm going to pull it. Will Fisher. 
It's a chess game. To third, and that is a double by Blake. Pull between third and short here. He might cut across. Ooh. Oh, he went backside. And then fly ball to the right fielder. And that will be the second out recorded as Williams is retired. Will Fisher scoring from third. Killing it right now, Joey. A lot of outfield openings. Here comes a two-out swing. Unfortunately, getting underneath it. And that will be the ball game. LNS Glass survives 13-9 over primetime Easton.